Zhu Long, an ultra-massive spiral galaxy discovered using the James Webb Space Telescope, has become a focal point of astrophysical research, reshaping our understanding of galaxy formation in the early universe. Located over 12 billion light-years away, Zhu Long exists at a redshift of approximately 5.2, meaning its light has traveled across time from when the universe was less than a billion years old. This galaxy's extraordinary characteristics defy conventional models of cosmic evolution, making it one of the most remarkable discoveries in recent years. The galaxy was identified as part of the Panoramic Survey, a program designed to map the distant universe with unprecedented detail. The researchers, led by Mengyuan Xiao of the University of Geneva, named the galaxy Zhulong after a mythical red solar dragon from Chinese mythology. This name reflects the galaxy's prominent red hue, indicative of its quiescent core, a region where star formation has ceased. Zhulong's discovery was serendipitous, arising from a broader investigation of high redshift galaxies using JWST's advanced imaging capabilities. The structural complexity of Zhulong is astounding. It possesses a central bulge, a large face on stellar disk, and grand design spiral arms that span an impressive 62,000 light years. Grand design spirals are rare even in the local universe and are characterized by well-defined symmetric arms extending outward from a clearly visible central bulge. These arms are not just visual features. They represent regions where gas compresses to trigger new star formation, contributing to the galaxy's growth. That such a structure could exist less than a billion years after the Big Bang is unprecedented, challenging long-held assumptions about the timeline of galaxy formation. The core of Zulong is quiescent, meaning it no longer forms new stars. This region has the highest stellar mass density measured among quiescent galaxies, a feature consistent with inside-out galaxy growth. This growth model suggests that galaxies begin forming stars in their cores, building mass at the center before extending outward to form disks and spiral structures. The red color of Zhu Long's core, combined with the spectral energy distribution data, supports this hypothesis. Meanwhile, the surrounding disk remains active, producing stars at a modest rate of 66 solar masses per year. While this rate is below the typical star formation main sequence for galaxies at this redshift, it indicates that Zhu Long is transitioning from a star-forming phase to a quiescent state. Zhu Long's overall stellar mass is comparable to that of the Milky Way, estimated at approximately 100 billion solar masses. However, its ability to convert baryonic matter into stars is significantly higher than most galaxies observed in later cosmic epochs. Its baryon-to-star conversion efficiency is calculated at 30%, nearly one and a half times the efficiency of the most productive galaxies at lower redshifts. This efficiency suggests a remarkably rapid formation process, where the galaxy assembled its mass and structure in a fraction of the time expected based on standard cosmological models. The discovery of Zhulong is part of a broader trend revealed by JWST, which has consistently uncovered massive galaxies at earlier cosmic times than previously thought possible. Before JWST, spiral galaxies were considered a phenomenon of the later universe, typically forming two to three billion years after the Big Bang. The Hubble Space Telescope had only hinted at the possibility of disk-like structures at earlier times. However, the sensitivity and resolution of JWST have now confirmed not only the presence of massive galaxies, but also their complex morphologies, including fully developed spiral arms at redshifts greater than five. This discovery challenges current theories of galaxy evolution, which assume that such structures require significant time to form. Spiral arms, in particular, are thought to emerge as a result of the gravitational interaction between stars, gas, and dark matter, a process that was believed to be inefficient in the dense environments of the early universe. The existence of Zulong implies that the physical processes driving galaxy formation were either more efficient or began earlier than current models suggest. Another intriguing aspect of Zulong 
is its low overall star formation rate, especially when compared to other ultra-massive galaxies identified at similar redshifts. Many of these galaxies are characterized by intense star-forming activity, often exceeding hundreds or thousands of solar masses per year. In contrast, Zulong's moderate star formation rate and the coexistence of a quiescent bulge suggest that it has already undergone a significant transformation. This could indicate an early onset of mechanisms that quench star formation, such as feedback from supermassive black holes or the depletion of gas reservoirs. Zhu Long also stands out for its enormous size. The galaxy's diameter exceeds 60,000 light years, making it comparable to modern massive galaxies like the Milky Way. Its half-light radius, a measure of the area containing half of its total light, is significantly larger than typical galaxies at its redshift. This expansive size raises questions about how such a structure could form in an era when the universe was still dominated by dense, chaotic conditions. Most galaxies at similar redshifts are compact, lacking the extended disks and well-defined features seen in Zulong. The implications of Zulong's discovery extend beyond its individual characteristics. It serves as a critical data point for refining models of galaxy formation and evolution. Theories must now account for the existence of massive, morphologically complex galaxies at such early times. This includes re-evaluating the role of dark matter halos, gas accretion, and the interaction of gravitational forces in shaping galaxies. Moreover, the discovery underscores the importance of advanced observational tools like JWST, which continue to reveal the universe's hidden complexity. Future research on Zhulong will likely focus on obtaining spectroscopic data to confirm its redshift and further analyze its chemical composition and star formation history. Higher resolution imaging and deeper observations across different wavelengths could provide additional insights into the mechanisms driving its rapid evolution. The findings from Zulong will also inform the study of other high-redshift galaxies, helping to build a more comprehensive picture of the early universe.